Animation Assistant is a collection of scripts aimed to improve your animation workflow, saving time on repetitive tasks. These scripts can be purchased individually or as a collection in a single interface that is triggered through a keyboard shortcut. For a breakdown of the script, Splurt improves the process of creating repeaters, Slide mimics the famous twitch and slide movements, Trim improves trim path creation, Shift staggers layers automatically, and Ripple creates bursts for shape layers. Animation assistants can be installed in two main ways. The first method is to install all five scripts in a single interface that is triggered by a keyboard shortcut. For example, in this scenario, the keyboard shortcut is assigned to Ctrl-R. If I select that, all five scripts appear in a single interface in which I can interact with the script immediately. I can then click anywhere or click any key to deactivate the interface. The second method is to install each strip individually, which can be opened and docked just like any other script. Just like so. The instructions for installing the scripts in both methods can be found in the folder after purchasing the script. Splurt is a script to quicken the workflow of creating and manipulating simple repeaters. This is the interface of Splurt. The first four buttons are the properties you are able to add. Adding any of these properties will automatically generate a repeater as well as apply the desired property. For example, the first property is trim paths. If we have a path that goes from the center to the top, we can select the first property of trim paths and that essentially creates a repeated trim paths animation, just like so. This also works with shapes. So if we create a square with only a stroke and select the first property again, that will create a similar repeated trim paths animation. The second property is position property, and this is essentially uh, what creates the burst effect in many popular animations. It moves the each instance of the repeater um, from the center outwards by a specified distance, and this distance can be edited in the settings. So to achieve this effect, we must first center this layer, which can be achieved by clicking this button right here, which looks like a square within a square, and select the second property. And you can see it's just a simple position animation that is repeated multiple times. The third property is the scale property, and this works very well with the position property. If you click on it, that creates this scale alongside the position property. And the final, property which I've included is the stroke property and that again works very well with the pre-existing ones as it creates a subtle animation out. So those are the four properties which I've included. Generating repeaters through splurs also creates an effects control panel on the left on the specified layer. It includes two very simple functions and that is altering the number of copies or the number of instances as you can see as well as an overall rotation property. Both of these can be keyframed. The final button of the script is the bake button, which looks like a square with four, four triangles in each corner. The bake button essentially allows you to convert repeaters into individual shape layers, allowing greater flexibility and greater integrations with other functions of Animation Assistant. For example, we have this very simple animation right here. And let's make the number of copies back to six. If we select the bake button, that essentially, the animation looks exactly the same, but we now have six individual layers and the original layer is now hidden. If we pull up the keyframes for each of these layers, you can see they're essentially individual layers for each instance. And this allows a lot of possibilities, such as staggering them, making them of different times, and perhaps individualized custom animations for each instance. We will talk about integrations with other functions of Animation Assistant in the end. 
Slide is a simple script that mimics the popular twitch and slide movement. The premise of the script is very simple. If you have two keyframes, for example, in this case, I have two keyframes that go from one position to another position. I can actually just select the two keyframes and click on one of the three buttons right here. The first button is the default normal twitch and slide. It essentially does this. So if we take a look at the animation right now, it has a bit of a twitch and then a slide. So let's compare. This is the normal animation. We collect the first one and we get this. The second button includes a flash. So if we click on that, you can see before the acceleration happens, there's a bit of a flash. And the final button includes color. Like so. The speed property at the top right here essentially controls how abrupt or how gradual the animation is. For example, if we have a speed of 10 as opposed to 35 and apply the normal twitch function that actually makes it less abrupt and perhaps slower. So that slide Trim is a script that optimizes the process of creating trim paths. This is the interface of the script. The first three buttons refer to the start property of trim paths and transitions the path in. Each of the three buttons corresponds to a different easing setting. For example, if we have its, uh, a path right here that goes from the left to the right, we can click on the first button and that essentially transitions the path in with an easing at the start. We could do it for the second button and that eases at the end. This is the same for the out animation. The out animation essentially refers to the end property of trim path and transitions the path out. Similarly, each of the three buttons corresponds to a different easing setting. For example, the second out button has an easing at the end. You could use both of them simultaneously. So we could go in, move a little bit forward, and then out. And that creates this line animation. The duration property essentially controls how long the trim paths animation goes for. And that's trim. Shift is a simple script that automatically staggers layers in different patterns. For example, in this animation right here, we have um, the repeater animation generated through Splurt, which has been baked into different shape layers. Now, if you wanted to stagger these layers or, or perhaps um, offset them as time goes on, as opposed to individually moving them uh, with certain amounts, a better option would be to use shift and shift essentially you can select all of these layers and click one of the three buttons right here as you can see here it's currently on seconds and we can alter that through here i prefer frames and we could say by three frames make it ascending and just like that you can see we get this nice sequential animation this also works descendingly, which goes the other direction. And you could also do a random scatter. So yeah, that's essentially shift. Ripple is a simple script that creates burst animations for any type of shape layer. Simply select a shape with a stroke and no fill and click any of the three unique buttons to generate the effect. The first button creates a thin stroke, just like so. The second button creates a medium stroke effect. And the final button creates a thick stroke effect. These three buttons can be edited in the settings. And that's Ripple.